profile of an American student is A, he doesn't have time to study and he doesn't want to study. Well, that's not just specific only to American students. That's very much the case with Indian students as well. And second thing he said that they are phobic. They have maths phobia. Again, standard. And she asked, what was the highlight of history? So they said that, ma'am, it was a trip to Humayu's tomb. Then she asked, what was the highlight of science? Then she said, all the students, the unanimous answer was that, ma'am, the cleanliness drive that we had at India Gate. And when she asked, what was maths? And they said, Edu EducoSoft. They said that. So it was such a brilliant feeling for me as a teacher that, you know, something, this, this is a novelty. This is an innovation. And what we need in our teaching right now is innovation. Forget about the books, exercise 3.1, question 1 to 5 is for homework. We don't need that anymore. Our students are bored of all that now. What we need is innovation in maths and this software does exactly that. It is innovation in maths. It is an excellent reinforcement tool. Whatever I do in class, I tell my students to go back home and read it. They read it. Any doubts that they have, they come back the next day and they ask me, ma'am, this is something which is unclear to us. So I explain it to them again. So doubt clearing has improved a lot. And some I teach one section which is known as a high ability section. In that section, they move forward. Whatever I have taught them in class, they go to the net, they read the material which is ahead of what they've what they've done in class and then they come back and they ask me very intelligent questions that ma'am okay we know you're going to do this with us now but what does this mean and what does this mean so what could be more fulfilling for a teacher than you know having her students um, asking her intelligent questions you know that is we are having a discussion now like sir said it's not chalk and talk anymore it's a discussion and that's what real teaching is all about the content is very simple it is very effective you see a screen, it's blank first, it's just like a blank chalkboard and step by step, step by step things start appearing on the screen just like we would do in class and it's so time saving and it's very very effective. The children are studying at their own pace. It's not that, you know, if you ask in a class of 30, have you all understood? Three students will answer yes ma'am in a loud voice, three students will answer yes ma'am in a softer tone, the rest of the class might not answer and you just think, okay, fine, they've, 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 I've heard yeses, so let me just move forward. But now with this software, hearing yeses is not just enough. They go back home, they read through the material, and whatever doubts they have, if they're not asking you that particular day, they come back the next day and they ask you. So it's a spiral arrangement which is going very step by step. All my workload has been greatly reduced. I, believe me, 20 marks are for our internal assessments and we say that, okay, 5 marks, earlier it was 5 marks for your copies, 5 marks for this, 5 marks for that. You know, it was so arbitrary. If you feel that, you know, a child has been usually performing well in class, so you tend to give them more marks, it's, it's human nature. But now the evaluation is based upon authentic scores. If 20 marks is for internal assessment, all my internal assessments are based on EduCoSoft assignments whatever homeworks I have given them. So that on that basis, it's very clear cut. It's clear cut to the parents. They don't come and fight with me anymore that why has a child got such and such marks and why has a child got such and such marks. It's, it's not the case anymore. I tell them this is the time that your child has been spending doing maths and this is the marks he has obtained. It's very clear cut. It, it, there is no personal bias now. It's very authentic, the scores. One thing since we're running short of time and I have a lot of praises for the software. One very important thing which I would want to highlight is that my school is a school of inclusive education. That is where dyslexic children are also a part of every class. Now when dyslexic students are part of every class, you know, they have a lot of problem in writing down what they are thinking. With this software, what we've done is earlier we used to either test them orally or we used to prescribe special syllabus for them and take very easy written exams. But now we've changed our strategy. We're using EduCoSoft to evaluate them since they can't write it down, but they know the concept and they know how to arrive at the final answer. They key in the answer. They're more comfortable with the keyboard than writing, than cutting out what they've written. Writing, what they've cut out 
you know, so it's very demotivating for a child to see so many crosses in his paper and it's a little irritating for the teacher also that if the paper is not presentable, then what to do. But these dyslexic children are really thoroughly enjoying the software. It's very easy for them to use the keyboard. It is very easy for them to just give me a straight answer. Oral questioning is still there, but the written part of it has, the workload has been greatly reduced for the teacher as well as for the child. And one example, now, <coughs> these are not, you know, biased opinions. They are real facts. My dyslexic children failing, 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 but now they are all passing. I teach four sections from 7th right on to ninth, and 7th especially, I teach two sections, and we have about six children who are dyslexic. The number might not sound very big to you, but in a class of 30, if I have three students who are dyslexic and are not understanding, who were not understanding, it really used to pain me. But now the things are smooth sailing, they are understanding the concept, they are taking help of the software, and all three of them have passed their first terms as well. Finals are right around the corner. We have two rounds of cycle tests. I'll give you an exam one example of this boy, Subir Mehta. He used to get 5 on 25, 3 on 25. This time, in the last cycle test or unit test as you call it, we had, he's got 23 out of 25. And this is in a written exam. And he only dedicates this to EduCosoft because now maths learning has become fun for them. We started off in school by saying that this is a novelty. Now, uh, about two months back, we reached a position where children said that this is a support to us. And now what I'm hearing from children is that this software is an addiction. So if a learning software for maths is becoming an addiction for my children, then there is nothing more that you need to hear from anyone else to, for you to believe that this software really does work. That's all that I have to say. Thank you.